Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Janine Gartner. I'm one of your trainers at RealComp. Uh, today's topic will be discussing how to manage your saved searches that you have in RCO3. So once you log in and you're at your dashboard, I'm going to click on RCO3 to enter the MLS database. And once I'm here, it leads me to my home page. Now, my saved searches are in two particular spots. Number one, on my home page, you will see that I have a field here called My Favorite Searches. This will save up to 20 of your favorite saved searches for easy access. At any time you'd like to look at the results, you simply can click on the name that you saved it, and it will run those results for you. From there, you can change the way that you are looking at your uh, display by going up to the top where it says display and picking any of the options. Or perhaps you might need to print or email these options. You can select certain properties, come down and email or print those. Perhaps you'd like to save it. After you've changed the criteria, you can click on save, rename it, and you'll have a new updated search. There's also another way you can accomplish these goals as well. If you go up to the top and click on the home page, your safe haven for all of your searches, not just the 20 that you've put in my favorite searches, but all of your searches will be under the My RCO tab. Once you hover over the My, R My RCO tab, if you come down to where it says Save Searches, giving that a click, here are all the searches you've ever saved in the system. You'll locate your search. They're in order by alphabetical order by subject. Or if you added a contact name, which we'll talk about a little later, you can do that. Or the last date that you ran it. You'll have that information here. Let's talk about some of the cool features you have under your saved searches. When I click the down arrow in front of a search, It reads back my criteria, tells me my current status, and other things that I filled in for criteria. But maybe I want to go through each of the options that I have here before I delete it, if I choose to delete it. Which brings me to another point. None of your save searches will ever get deleted out of the system till you do that. So we'll practice how to do that a little later as we're managing this page. First, I'm going to click on the option that says Settings. When I click on settings, I can change the name if I choose to. If I have found a customer that the search could belong to, I could click the down arrow for contacts or I could create a new contact. If I would like to add the search to my home page, again, under my favorite searches, I can have up to 20. I would simply select this box and it will then add the search to my home page when I log in. And once again, it reads back my criteria. So I'll just simply click back on Save. If I would like to look at the criteria, perhaps I need to update it or change it, I'm simply going to, again, click the down arrow in front of the search I'd like and click on Criteria. I can change any of the options here. Once I have matches, I'm going to come down and click on Save. And that will update my search once I click on save again. If I'm after just the results, I'll simply click on results. I'll see all of the options that appear for me that fits my criteria. Again, just simply changing the way of the look by clicking the display. I can look at the thumbnail. I can click the down arrow and look at the summary that has all of my results on one page. I can click the down arrow. If I'm after one particular property, perhaps I'd like to look at the full large with map and rollouts. It'll give me the picture and the map, and I can scroll down and I can look at the listing history, the additional photos, and even public records if I choose to. From here, I could email this one listing. I could print it. I could perform a CMA using this as the subject property. I could get directions for this particular property. 
I could export it, or if I wanted to make an appointment using showing time, I could do so. If I like to look at all of my results in this format, down at the bottom left, I could toggle through the numbers, or I could click Previous and Next to move on to the next property. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and hover back over my RCO, and I am simply going to click back on Save Searches. When I click the down arrow once more, well, I saw that all the results I had. Perhaps I would like to look at the results since the last time I actually ran the search and see just those updates. When I click on Date Since, the system knows the last time I actually ran the search, so it will show me just those particular updates. Here I only have one update since the last time I ran the search. So instead of looking at everything, again, I have just the updates here. I'm going to go back up to, uh, to my RCO and go to Save Searches. Click that down arrow again. Mark an update. Perhaps there's a certain time frame that I would like to look at my search results. Maybe go back about a month or two, maybe more than that, maybe six months, just to see what the um, area was going for at that particular time or to rehash those listings again. So I can click Mark an update. And, again, it will remind me of the last time I actually ran my search, but if I have a specific update range, I could either put it in by days or I could change by the example here and go back and put in the information this way if I choose to. And then when I click on search, it will run those results for me in the date frame that I've chosen. When I go back to my RCO and save searches, I'll click that down arrow once again. And the last option is to delete the search if I choose not to use it. But there's one thing that I'd like to cover. Perhaps sometimes you'll save a search and you'll find a customer that the search belongs to. Or perhaps you had intentions of saving the search and you wanted to eventually turn the search into a prospect for a particular customer. Once you have the search under Save Searches, you can simply click the down arrow, click on Settings, change again the name if you'd like to, add a contact to it if you will, but more importantly, in the upper left-hand corner, you can click where it says Turn the Save Search into an Auto Email. When you click on that, now it's asking for a contact's name. You can click the down arrow and choose a particular contact. It will fill in their email address because you've already filled in the contact information or you just did. You can BCC yourself if you choose to, fill in a subject line, and then simply scroll down and decide of the four options the best way to email your customer and click on Save. That will turn this Save Search into an auto email and you will find it under My RCO and Auto Emails. So just for a quick review, when you save a search, it could potentially end up in two places. It will always be under My RCO and Save Searches, again, until you delete it. But it will also be on your home page under My Favorite Searches if you selected the box that said Enable as a favorite search on your home tab. You can have up to 20 here. You can run your search results from here at any given time, or if you'd like to manage it a little deeper, you could go under My RCO, choose Save Searches, and if you need to change the criteria, you can simply click the down arrow in front of the search, change the criteria and save it for your new updates. If you'd like to look at all the results, you can click on Results. If you'd like the updates, since the last date you ran your search, you can click on Date Set and get just those updates. For Market Update, you can change a time frame and add in your particular time frame that you'd like to look at your results. And then finally, when you're done with the search, if you wanted to clean it up, you could simply check the box in front of your search and click on Delete, and that would delete the search. 
if I go to my upper right hand corner, again under my RCO and save searches, you'll notice that you have an area called filter save searches. You will end up with tons of searches eventually and it's a really neat idea to be able to know how to manage this instead of just simply scrolling down every time you need the information. So where it says filter save searches, choose a filter. When I click that down arrow, I can now out of all the searches that I have on my screen, I can click on home tab and now I can see all of my favorite searches that I have on my home screen. If I go back under filter save searches, which actual searches have a contact connected to them? I can click that down arrow and click with the contact and I can see the one search that I do have a contact for. Again, I could always turn her into a save search and a, uh, a turn the save search into an auto email when that time comes. If I click the down arrow, here are all of the uh, searches I have without contacts. They're probably just for me, my farm area or different areas that I'm keeping an eye on. If I click the down arrow once again, I can now click on the searches with the last run more than one month ago, two months ago, three months ago, six months ago and up to a year ago. So it, it lets me know the last time I ran any of these searches. So a year ago, as you can see by the dates here under my last run, these are the searches I, I have not run since a year ago. So you can always change your filters. And if you want to go back to square one, you'd click that down arrow and click on choose filter so that you would have all of your results. Don't forget, you can always sort. Perhaps I wanted to sort by contact name. I could double click and have all of my contacts information at the top for the searches I have for them. Or I named a, per, a particular subject, I can click on a subject and put them in alphabetical order or the last time I ran it if I choose to. So any of these will be helpful for you as well. Lastly, if there's any searches that you'd like to get rid of, you simply again can check the box in front of it, come down and click delete or you can click the down arrow in front of the search you choose and click delete as well and that will remove it. It will always ask, are you sure if you'd like to delete the search? If you are, you can click OK, and away it goes. Well, that will conclude today's quick lesson of how to manage your saved searches in RCO3. Uh, for further details, you can always go up to the Help button, and you will see all of our manuals here with all our FAQ questions. If you'd like to look at more webinars, you also under the help bar can scroll down, click on training videos and recorded webinars. And there you will see a webinar, a full class webinar on each of our classes. So again, we thank you for joining us today for a quick tip on how to manage your save searches and RCO3. Thank you and have a great day.